Hey, what's up? My name is Jenny. Welcome to Divine Family Tarot. Today I'm going to be doing a general reading for Capricorn. Keep in mind that these are general readings, not personal readings. Uh, if you want a personal reading, go ahead and click on the description box below for my website information and how to book a personal reading with me. Take what resonates with this reading. Leave the rest behind as it is a general reading. All right. What's going on for Capricorn, past, present, future? Past, present, and future for Capricorn. What's that, Capricorn? What you don't see coming is the Eight of Pentacles, possibly a lot of work, a lot of work coming towards you right now. You're in the Two of Pentacles energy, which clarifies this whole thing. It's funny. It doesn't clarify it. It shows me the energy because that is also connected to this card. And you have the two of swords. So there's a two of swords and two of pentacles being here. I feel like you're not letting love in at the moment. However, you want to with the two of pentacles. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. So that's what I'm seeing here. And I don't know. Should I? Shouldn't I? Is what I'm getting. Um, that's the current energy for the reading itself. In the recent past, you have the Five of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Hierophant. You could be waiting for commitment coming in. Um, however, you present yourself as single. Might not really feel like you're single. Might not really feel like you're on the market. But you are coming off as somebody who is single, but kind of tied to someone at the same time. Not really sure. I want to clarify that because that could be either or. Not sure. I want to see. I want to see because I'm not sure. <laughs> That's so tricky. You got me, Capricorn. You got me on this one. Like I said, your current energy is that of, I don't know if I want to entertain love like that. I feel like success is very more, very much more on your mind. Um, Success being here with the Six of Wands. In the near future, I am seeing communication from someone that you find very attractive. Could be. Either you find this person very attractive or they could be a little toxic. But we're going to see. We're going to see. Two of Pentacles. Let's clarify. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. It's not knowing whether you should approach someone or not. There is an energy here of maybe even friendship with this person, with the Page of Pentacles being there. This could be you or them, so take it how it resonates. But I'm getting, a, I don't know if I want to approach this. This kind of feels, with the lover's card here, like a very intense connection. Lover's is not like the two of cups. This is like really strong feelings, but I'm still seeing you single. So it kind of feels like, I don't know if I should approach this or not. This could be a friend with the page of pentacles being there because I'm seeing very, very slow. It's, it's like a slow talking, slow to come not knowing very not knowing i don't know if that's what i'm getting from that let me see the five of swords i 
Okay. This is the same energy. It's almost like you're kidding yourself. And the reason I say it's almost like you're kidding yourself, it's because it's tying into this. So you might be acting like you don't have a lot of emotions for this person. You might be acting like this person's not that big of a deal because I'm seeing you being like, I'm working on myself. I got, I'm working, like working, physically working on your finances, building up your finances. And I'm seeing you be like, I don't need love. I'm, I'm just doing me my, I'm happy the way I am, but you're still trying to see if you should entertain this person. And that's all in the five of swords energy. So that's kind of like you tricking yourself into thinking you don't want something more serious with this person when you probably do. I don't feel like mm, you could have dealt with somebody in the past that was like emotionally unavailable. However, I feel like you're working on your finances. I feel like you're very solid when it comes to your financial life. That's for sure. And, and I don't know many Capricorns who are not like really good with their money. So this makes perfect sense to me when it comes to being happy with your finances. However, I'm seeing you, you're worrying about something. There's something on your mind that's been there for a while and it's just on your mind with the wheel of fortune. It's there. It's there. It's not going anywhere. Something you're thinking about. It could be financial. It could be something financial that you're thinking about. Maybe there's a new direction you can go in and you're not sure if you should do it or not. With the king of swords, I feel like if there's a new direction for you to go in financially, it's like, what are you thinking about? What are you, what are you doing? You know, you got what it takes to do that. You need to go towards that. So that could be a person and this could be a job. So think, you know, take it how it resonates. Take it how it resonates. This could be a kind of a job that you really love. If this is not a person that you really have strong feelings for, then this could be a job you might really love and you not knowing if you should take it or not. So take it how it resonates. Let me see the Hierophant. You're holding back on anything that is long-term or committed. I see you reflecting a lot on what you've been through. Um, there's a lot of healing there. You're doing a lot of healing over your um, what it is that you see in relationships, what's healthy, what's unhealthy. The Hierophant shows me commitment, and I'm seeing healing over commitment. So you could have been in a relationship that wasn't the best for you. And this is you reflecting on it, you learning from it. With the strength card, yeah, you you did it. There's a lot of uh, a lot of things you had to process there in the recent past. Knight of Cups. This does seem really financial to me. So this could be very well. A job or very well be a job. I say things backwards. Don't, you know, don't pay attention to me when it comes to that. You're not at a place where you're entertaining love right now. I feel like that's just not where you're at. Um, you could be, you could be sad over someone you're not talking to at the moment. I feel like that is keeping you stuck when it comes to your love life. It could be a situation where you've been ghosted or something like that, but I'm seeing you not realizing that there is love for you coming in the future. This is love. This is not finances.
this is very much being um, disappointed in, in the past stuff and that's kind of blocking you from, or that's not blocking you, but that's keeping you where you're at. That's keeping you from wanting to approach love at the moment. There is somebody here that you have a connection with. Wow. There's a lot of attraction. There is a lot of attraction. And there's a lot of you blocking this. There's a lot of you not wanting to give to this, even though this comes off to me as something that's equal. I feel this person also wants that with you, Capricorn. But you're not seeing eye to eye. You guys don't even see each other. You're facing the opposite ways. You're facing one way, they're facing another way. And it's clarifying the two of swords. So this is something that you're not allowing to come into your life at the moment. It could also be that if this is a past person trying to come back around, you're not letting them. I don't feel like it unless you're really, really, really attracted to that past person. And this could be that past person that you don't want to approach. But I don't know. You would know. You're not allowing love into your life at the moment. Or not knowing. Not, not knowing if you should. Six of wands. Wow, I'm seeing you make that leap. If this is a work thing, okay? If this is a work thing, I'm seeing you make a leap, okay? Now, this right here is love. This is love. Work-related. Work-related. I see you making the decision to approach something new in your, in your career, and it's going to really, really pay off with these cards here. Beautiful. You get the Six of Wands clar clarified by the judgment, justice, and the star. This is your path, okay? This is your path. I see you getting a lot of attention with the star being there. Some of you guys could be on social media or online in some way. I'm seeing you doing really, really well in this new venture, whatever this is. Um, go for it, whatever this is. I don't know what it is. It's going to be different for everyone. This is a general reading. This resonates with you. I see you doing it. I see you finally making the decision to go all in. If that is pertaining to this love situation here, I'm seeing you make the decision to go towards whoever this is, and I'm seeing that work out. I'm seeing that work out. With the justice and the star, it's like a lot of healing energy with that connection. So take it how it resonates. Let me see the Queen of Wands. I keep on getting the high priestess at the bottom. Some of you guys could have Pisces in your chart or be very highly intuitive. For some of you, this there's a person from your past trying to get back into your good graces. I feel like it's going to be a shock. But I also feel like you're you're waiting for it. So it's something that you know is going to come back around, but the way it shows up later on is going to really surprise you. Um, I'm not getting that this person has the best intentions with the devil being there. Let me get one more card for the Queen of Wands. Let me get a card for the devil. That could be good or bad. Not really that could be good or bad. Queen of Swords. You're dealing with a Gemini or an air sign, Aquarius, Libra. Even though that might be just Gemini, I, I think it's all of the signs. <laughs> all of the air signs. It could be that you suddenly um, reunite with somebody who you have a lot of attraction for with the Devil and the Queen of Swords. It could also be somebody trying to come back into your life suddenly who... 
might act like they know it all, but they don't. And this is, you know, you could take the how it resonates because that tells me a few different things for a few different people. If you have someone in your life who is a know it all or thinks they know, they know it all and you're not expecting them to like try to reunite or reconnect with you, think again because they're going to come on in. They're going to come on in. I wouldn't recommend that though. I wouldn't recommend you entertain this person who thinks they know it all. I wouldn't recommend it if that's the case for you. For others of you, this is somebody you're really attracted to, and it's going to surprise you that this might come together. Um, we'll see. I'm seeing, um, excuse me. I am seeing you leaving a situation behind and going towards something else that is more fulfilling for you. There could be distance between you and somebody at the moment. Or maybe in the maybe even in the near future, there's like distance here, and then the death card is showing me a transformation going on for you. There's something deeper going on for you. Um, whatever situation didn't work out in the past, it's leading you to something a lot better with the six of cups also being there. So it's telling you to move in a new direction. If you're not already moving in that new direction, you will be soon because I do see the Eight of Cups being here also. That is in your future energy. So very soon you will be making the decision to go towards something better for yourself. Eight of Wands. Hold on. Okay. That is the card of success. I feel like that's going to be coming in pretty quick. Okay, maybe not. And and this is regarding love. I'm also seeing you blocking love yet again. Blocking love, blocking love. Not wanting to entertain love. Very, very focused on your finances. Very focused on that. However, there is a strong attraction to someone here. Let me get one more. Yep, very strong attraction to someone here with the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, but I see you kind of trying to block it. I see you trying to block it. With the two of swords being there. Um, everyone has their own decisions to make. Take the how it resonates. Let me pull an oracle card for you. What would you like Capricorn to know right now, spirit? Nature spirits. To connect with the hold of folk or elves, go into a quiet place in nature, especially somewhere with boulders or rock formations. Sit quietly, physically protect yourself, close your eyes, and pay attention to what you feel. You may be surprised at what you experience. You may even see light orbs floating around you with your physical eyes or your third eye. See if you notice any movement or shadows around the rocks. Be open to receiving messages from the hold of folk. When you are ready to go home, respect the nature environment by thanking the local hold of folk or elves. Pay attention to what you see and sense and when you are out in nature, particularly when you are around rock formations. As wild as it sounds, you are being called to connect with nature spirits and elves in your area. Respect the wilderness as a home for beings seen and unseen. This card may suggest someone doesn't want to be disturbed. Respect their space and let them come to you. So Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time.